I've got an owie. I got robbed this morning of blood. Someone took my blood out of my body. I mean, I went to that person and asked them to do it, but it's happened. Like morning. <laughs> hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. This is bugging me. I see it's like half in the frame and half out of I the am frame, really, one way or the other. I know this sounds crazy, but I kind of want to do that. I've been doing that lately. What's what's wrong with me? So welcome to day something. nine. Day, day nine of the beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge. I'm feeling really good. We went this morning. What a fiasco to get our blood drawn, to get we we're doing... Uh, test for we're doing a full lipid pro profile. We are doing a glucose and insulin and uh, Also an a1c test which I haven't had my a1c tested in 20 years and so we didn't need that to should be interesting. We didn't need to have an appointment But it, we did need to have an appointment. It says right on by the way the, the company we use if you're looking to get some labs done Inexpensively, I'll leave a link down below. We have no affiliation with them whatsoever. No. Uh, we used a company called Ulta Labs, and it really was cheap. They should sell makeup. So, <laughs> so uh, I, they, they even had a 20% off coupon when we did it, and they have one going on right now, like a fall coupon. But all of our labs cost us like 60 bucks. Which so is great. So it's like really, really cheap. You're saving about 80% off of just kind of going anywhere else. So you basically go on there, you choose whatever labs you want, and then you go and book an appointment to have your blood drawn. Look. And oh, and look, she put it. Ooh, right on the hair. Ooh. You gotta just do it, right? Just do it. You gotta do it. I can't see it. Ah! Oh. So. Now you know how my upper lip feels. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> so, yeah, you just choose whatever labs you want. And then they tell you, go book an appointment with a lab near you. And they tell you all these different places. And when you go on, it says, most labs do not allow appointments. Everything is walk-in, but you can check with the lab and see if they take appointments. And there's a little thing to schedule appointments. But it literally says, 
everything is walk-in because most labs don't do appointments. Right. So we get to Quest this morning. The lady's like, do you have an appointment? I'm like, no. It said that we're not supposed to book an appointment. She's like, oh, we changed that policy. Yeah, she's like, yeah, we don't mean that. Can we update the website? Possibly. No. There's even a sign there inside of the lab. If you are a walk-in do this and it's like just get rip that sign off the wall while we're still talking but i don't want to bash them too much because the lady that was working in so the margate awesome. florida uh quest labs at 6 30 in the morning she made on room. whatever today's date is i guess it's um september 28th i don't know what her name is 27th 27th she was awesome because Incredible. she was like hold on let's look and she goes okay joseph i got an appointment for you I'm like, she needs one too. She's like, I don't have any more. So we start frantically finding, and we find one up in the Boca one and about an hour later, and I'm in getting my blood drawn and she comes and she goes, where's your wife? And I'm like, oh, she went outside. She's like, I went out there, I can't find her. Can you call her? I'm gonna get her in right now. How nice is she? So, yeah. I mean, awesome. I wish they would update their website to let us know that we need an appointment. Now we know for the future, but she was super accommodating. So and thank you, whoever you are. Thank you so much. And um, the thing was too, she was like, I don't want you to have like a bad, you know, uh, experience with our company. And I thought, gosh, that's so wonderful. My dad right? would be proud because Seriously. my dad actually was a clinical chemist. He was a PhD and he ran the labs like that. Yeah. So he'd be proud to see like that's how these labs are being run. God bless her. So we're starting off our day. Uh, today is Monday, which means it's Keto on the Couch Day, which means it's Edit Videos Day. I have a makeup game from all of those rain things that we had on Saturday tonight at 7 o'clock. And... Uh, Good food plan. We're gonna start off with some breakfast. Yay. I cooked these on our new Blackstone electric griddle. And I'm enjoying this thing. Listen, do I need it? No, right. but I actually like it better than working over at the stove because I can do everything on one thing. And again, less pans for Caleb to clean. So he's loving it. And it does wipe up super easy. It's actually easier to control the temperature on this than it is even on our regular glass cooktop. So um, I'm, I am enjoying it. And it's only available, so far as I know, at Walmart. I'll leave a link for it down below. Well, That's the, where I bought it. The game changer is it's electric. Usually you have to use propane. Yeah, with Blackstone. Like a Blackstone. Yeah. And it's not a um, cast iron. It's like a non-stick, like a ceramic kind of surface. So it does wipe up super quick. You guys saw us make the eggs and even a little bit of steak. And what was nice about the way it just kind of wipes down and I don't have to worry about it. And you think like, okay, it was a hundred dollars. Some of my nonstick pans were a hundred dollars. Actually, I think all of my nonstick pans were a hundred dollars or more. Usually that's something that we would get at Christmas time because yeah. like you've, you've blown through your, your cheaper pots and pans during right. the year. And so at Christmas we would get whatever's the new pretty set of pans. Yep. Always a hundred bucks. Yeah. Always right around a hundred dollars. Okay. So we got coffee. Um, we each have a cup of coffee. I put uh, two tablespoons of butter in there. So we have a tablespoon of butter in there. A little bit of that bottom round steak that we had left over from yesterday that I needed to cook up instead of wrapping it because we have a bunch of the bacon wrap left. Everybody was full. I've got three over medium eggs. Rachel's got a little bit of the steak with three scrambled eggs. Yeah. So we're going to finish eating. You're going to finish previewing keto on the couch. And then we'll check with you later because lunch is going to be amazing. I love here, Mondays like where we get to do the keto on the couch premiere. Color. Look at that. It is amazing to me what salt will do. So these are what's called dry brined steaks. So they've been actually brining for about 40 hours. They are gonna be super tender because what you do is you cover the entire thing all the way around in just some kosher salt. And you can, if you feel it, it feels hard. It does feel hard. But when you go to cook it, it's just got all that moisture. It's gonna be so tender. It's trapped in there. Are you ready for this? Yes, I'm ready. Um, you're prepping ribs, but we're supposed to be having steak. I'm having steak. You're having ribs. No, I want steak. But your favorite thing is ribs. Well, I like ribs, but I, I also want that steak. <laughs> Actually, we bought this for the kids yesterday, but because, um, you know, I was at my game and there was really no way to cook it and me be able to babysit it and stuff, 
decided to not cook it. And so I'm gonna make both racks. I figured the kids can eat one of the racks today and then we'll just have them like made and ready to go. But I gotta get off this silver skin and I hate taking silver skin off of spare ribs. We bought spare ribs because baby back ribs were like $6 a pound and the pork spare ribs were two fifty a pound. Wow, that's so huge. pork spare ribs it is. So if you live in a humid environment like we do, you may have problems with some of your seasonings like this uh, organic garlic pepper from Edmunds where it starts to clump up. When I was growing up in your salt, you would put things like rice, but the rice is gonna come right through these big containers. So you can use beans, but one of the things I like to do is if you look in there, I get on Amazon, I'll leave a link down below, these food grade packages, they're the little silicone things you find in electronics and things like that, but these are food grade, and you can put them in here and it will keep all of the humidity out of there. Originally, this was like a big lump. I could never ever use this. I almost was gonna throw it out and just buy a new one, but what I did was I put it in the food processor, chopped it all up, and now look, with that in there, I no longer have that issue. And it's a great way to keep the humidity out of all of your spices. So I've got the Kamado Joe Jr. over there fired up so that we could reverse sear those steaks for Rachel and I. And then I've got the Rec Tech over here and we're gonna go ahead and put these spare ribs on there and we're gonna go a 3-1-1 method. So I got these new temperature probes for our grill. It's from a company called Meter Block. And I'm really excited. First of all, look how pretty this thing looks. Is that not like awesome looking? It looks, it looks like a graduation pin set. It really does. It, I mean, it's just, this is gonna make a great gift for somebody. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but I will leave a link down below. But it, they have a couple of different options. The best option is to buy four, especially if you're cooking for a family. But you know, we use all of these different temperature probe things for the grill and they got wires and then I can't find the wires and then you can't figure out how to clean them right. So what I like about these is, I just dropped my number thing, but look, it's an individual probe and it just sticks right into the meat, no wires or anything. And it's got wire Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Now the one that I got came with the four and then it's got this nice little block so you can have everything on here, but it will also connect to your phone to give you all of the readings of what your meat is. It's almost done. It'll give you a notification when it's done. I wanted to use it for the steaks today, but you gotta let these probes charge for eight hours for the first time. And the cool thing is you can hook it up and charge it with UP USB or it's got four batteries in the back. So right there, this is kind of cool. Look at this, little magnets. No like screws to put everything together, but this thing is really cool. I'll leave a link for it down below. All right, time to put these steaks on the grill. We're at about 250 degrees. We got everything set just right. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. So this is just the Kamado Junior. You can get it at Walmart. And uh, down below is a heat diffuser plate. That allows it so that you don't get that heat coming up so you can have some indirect cooking. We're gonna go for a reverse sear. I'm gonna put these on here. Then we can come back and fire it up for like an inferno mode and get a nice char on them. They're starting to come to you. They're, they're really enjoying all of their free time. I think that they are enjoying just living their best chicken life. Yeah. There's something magical about them just free ranging, having that yard to themselves, and just being chickens, protected and fed and loved, but being allowed to be chickens. Yeah, down. Now, it, it, they are staying, like the three new ones are staying in one group, and then the three older ones, or four older ones, are staying in another group. But nobody's beating each other up. I like that. And they went back into the coop last night. Now you can tell, she probably got pecked at some point. See, if you look right below her eye, <laughs> see right there? Yeah. But, you know, that's just a part of chickens, right? They, they got to establish their pecking order. But at least they're coming. I went down and I went chick chick and they all came up to me. Progress. What's wrong, baby? You wanna go back outside with your friends? 
It's amazing how good chickens are as pets. People don't think about a chicken as a pet, but they're super lovey and they don't mind being held. No. If Tabitha wasn't like right there aggravating, then yeah. then the chicken would be even more comfortable. She's just jealous. Okay, and we moved the steaks over and now we've got it in inferno mode where, look at us, 650 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and grab the steaks and give them a quick sear. What? Are you wearing a bib? Yes, I have a very bad track record of getting grease on my shirts, and I really like this shirt. Are you ready for this? That looks so stinking good. Uh, it smells. Oh. oh wow. Yeah. Let me get some forks and knives. Are you seriously not waiting for me? Sorry, it looks really good though. I, I'm worried I overcooked it. I didn't realize like how quickly it was gonna cook because it's mm. been, you know. That is good. Um... Yeah, it, it, well it's, it's kind of like a medium. I was really going for like a medium rare. It's so like perfectly seasoned because of all of the. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like a medium. Yeah, There's still I probably some... would get medium rare. Yeah, that would be what I prefer. But we're still, oh, we're still learning how to use these grills. Oh my gosh! I'm very much enjoying the experimental process. Yours is probably cook less because yours is thicker than mine. Okay, I'm sorry, I had to fix the, the focus. Cut it down the middle and let's say, I'm all that, ah. Oh. oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I still would go probably. I probably got a little bit rarer. Yeah, I would go a little bit rarer, but it's not like you've well done it. Don't well done it. Mm-mm. Wow. That is delicious. And this isn't even ribeye. So, Here's the thing, I used to drown my steaks in A1 sauce. And now I really enjoy meat. I enjoy the flavor of the meat. This is so good. So somebody had asked like, why did we get the Kamado? Sometimes we just want that charcoal flavor. Mm -hmm. Now the Kamados can be used as a traditional smoker too. Yeah. You know, where you don't have the pellets. But what's cool about this is that you have the charcoal. You could put smoking wood down below, which we don't have any. We need to go get some. And I'm going to experiment with smoking some ribs and stuff in there. Um, I'm still trying to learn it. But it's cool because you get the big chunk charcoal. And you can go anywhere from low and slow at 200 degrees all the way up to inferno mode at 750, 800 degrees. You can make pizza in it. What? The fat. I don't know. Right? The fat, though. And I always say... I'm gonna leave that for the last bite because it's like like the finish line, you know, like the victory. Mm-hmm. But I can't. As soon as I see it, I've got to have it. Like right then. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's why we got it. And we have the we have the two different ones. We got the big one. Because mm -hmm. when you wanna do something big, like you wanna do some chicken or you wanna do yeah. like we had everybody here yesterday. That was a lot of hamburgers to But make. then the small one is good for just like two people. You're not gonna put a whole bunch on there. And it's a lot harder to do the, you can't do the multi-level cooking, whereas the big one, you can have like three different ones. But for just the two steaks today, we turn on the little one. You don't use as much charcoal. It heats up quickly. Uh, quickly. You still get to use the flame torch though, right? Uh-huh. Which is really, let's, let's be honest, that's the real like drawing thing about the Komodo Joe. That's just so good. So good. Um... Wow. Mm hmm I think seriously, this is one of the best steaks we've ever made. Yeah. And the difference is the dry brining. Having the patience to, to salt it and go 12 to 48 hours. You don't have to go 48 hours. We were only gonna do like 14 hours, but then yeah. we were so full yesterday. We just didn't need to. We're like, you know steak. what, we're gonna let it go and it it just it tenderizes this meat because again, this is not a ribeye. This is a sirloin strip. 
And so it's usually a little bit tougher and Yeah. Mmm. Okay. Where's Caleb? Don't tell him. The new iPhones came out. There's such a good deal with T-Mobile right now. Yeah. You, know, you get like 350 bucks back for his old phone, which is an iPhone 11. And then T-Mobile gives you $500 in bill credits. Right. Which covers the complete cost of the new phone. So we're going to try to cheer him up a little bit. We got Anthony and Caleb new phones. Anthony already got his. Mm -hmm. Caleb has no idea. So as soon as we're done eating, we're going to run down to the Apple store. We have to be there between 3 and 3.15. So we have just enough time to eat and get down there. Plus, we go to a mall that Rachel hasn't been to probably since she was a teenager. Was that good? Oh, that's something on me. <laughs> <laughs> I have been reading comments when we talked about, like, what are things that are easily lost in your house, right? And you said scissors. So many people reminded me silverware. Yes. Right? How many times a year do we have to buy spoons and forks because they just disappear? I know where they go, though. Where are they going? In the, the garbage can. Yeah, because we use paper plates all the time. And you forget. I can't tell you how many times I've looked in the garbage and I see a spoon or something This isn't there. disposable. Just this. Oh, this is really cool. I love the way they ring on the doorbell and tell you, like, hey, we're delivering a bunch of boxes to you. <laughs> we got no notification. Do you know what this says? I have a suspicion that there's something you can put a liquid into. What? I have not been to this mall in so long. This is the fancy mall. Well, we may have to come back to this mall later. They're going to kick us out. You look like a kid in a candy store. Oh my goodness. I think that this is going to actually turn his week around. He has no idea. And I know he really wants one. His phone is two years old. But all he's thinking about is fixing up his car and getting back on the road. So he's not thinking of a blessing like this. And it's not really costing us a ton of money because now, Cost me 40 bucks. now is the best time to, to switch out your phone. Oh my goodness. So something so amazing happened. I got married while we were here at Dillard's with this beautiful ring. No, seriously. I can't answer the question anymore. Like, where is your wedding ring, Rachel? So we're just, we're gonna use this one. We bought it for $25. It looks really blingy and this is my new ring. Can we explain where your wedding ring actually is? My actual wedding ring broke. With engagement ring. Right, I, so I have my engagement ring and I have two beautiful bands that are like, congratulations, you made it on your 10 year. Like Joe had them all redone for our 10th an wedding anniversary and it broke and in COVID, our jeweler closed up shop. So I need to get them repaired. Every single time I walk out with it, like another diamond pops out. So um, until they get repaired, I, I gotta just do this. So good enough. Joe is in his happy place right now. <laughs> this, this is, is scary. Pot. We gotta hurry up and get him out of this place. This is our coffee pot. That is our coffee pot. We love it. So this is completely normal, just wheeling a giant table out of William Sonoma to the parking garage. This thing was $2,600. We got it on credit for 250 bucks. Solid butcher block, all stainless steel. That's fantastic. Right? Like that is a good deal. So Just we- Just need to be sanded down and refinished. Oh good. Not only do we have to go through the entire mall pushing this thing, but we actually have to cross the road. This, this, thing, this thing is heavy. This is how we do it. And the door is still open. Right. Hopefully we have a bungee cord. I do. I don't want to be that guy on the road. Security. Security. Oh, we can get to the car actually. There's a man pushing furniture out of William Sonoma. So no joke, it was $26.95. And we paid 250 bucks for it. There's a rack over here to hang your towels. Look at this. Drawers. Solid drawers. And they're like on bearings with like the easy clothes. So I feel like She-Ra because this thing was no joke heavy. I did not think it was going to be quite that solid. That was solid. And of course, Joe is prepared, thankfully. You never know what you're gonna need to tie down. You never know when you're gonna go buy $2,700 cards. So we're gonna bungee cord those shuts. Yet another thing to keep in the car. 
You look crazy, but then it just comes in handy, right? We got it. It's in. It's not gonna go anywhere. That's in tight this way. That's the goal. Don't go anywhere, little cart. Side effects of all of the protein we're eating is definitely I'm so thirsty. You are thirsty all the time. I am thirsty absolutely all the time. We always bring our thermoses of water with us and it just was not enough this time. Yeah, well, we only brought like a little 16 ounce thing and I'm like, drove all the way down there and then walked around and we had, oh, by the way, that giant steak with all that like nice Redmond drill salt on it. Mm. So yeah, thirsty. It's super heavy. Look at the price on that price tag. We got it for two hundred and fifty dollars. Ninety percent off. Hold on, hold on. Thank you for your service. There's your payment. Wow, man, thank you. You know what I was talking about? You have to do that. I was gonna wait. Thank you. I really appreciate that, man. You gotta do the sound effect when you peel off the front. Like, <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> oh, this is, wow, this looks so nice. Thank you. You're welcome. So we got home and uh, these ribs have been on since three o'clock. Everybody forgot about them. Oh my gosh. So I don't know, Anthony, let's go ahead and cut them and see if they're any good or did, they, did we ruin a rack of ribs? It doesn't look bad. They look like they're, they're going to have a nice crust on them, mm -hmm. but are they nice and juicy on the inside? Just seasoned with Redmond, so... They're spare ribs, so are they overcooked? No. No, nice yeah. and juicy. Oh, oh yeah, look at that, Rachel. Come here, look at us. Maybe we should forget stuff more often. What do you think of our new cabinet counter here? I'm excited for cooking demonstrations. Yeah. It's just nice because now we have I can get more gadgets. We have more room because now we can just line all the countertop with gadgets because we can just do all the cooking right here. This is a slippery slope. Yeah, nothing comes out this good for me if I forget it. <sighs> it's just burnt and awful. I, well, I don't even know what time. I think we put them on at like two o'clock or something like that. And I meant to mm -hmm. like have Anthony take them off at like six. And I'm, I'm gonna take this off. So sorry, I am wearing and a very old undershirt that is way too... I, I owned this when I weighed 300 pounds. Like, look at it. It's huge it's on huge. me. So, I had such an awesome game. Seriously? It's, Not like Anthony? No. It, this was so awesome. So, it was 12 and unders. It was from the lightning delay that we had on Saturday. And I, I'm sorry if we're boring with football. But... It was, I knew it was going to be a good game. And the, even the league reps on Saturday said, this is going to be a good game. So I felt bad. So I had this one rookie official and it's her first year officiating. Aww. And so I had to go up on the clock and then I quickly realized like how good this game was going to be. And so the second half, I felt bad, but I'm like, I need you to stay on the clock because like Aww. I could not have a rookie official on the field. It was that good of a game because we went into halftime at 0-0. We come out of halftime. We return. They return the touch, the kickoff for a touchdown. Oh wow! So now it's six nothing, and then they, the other team, it's seven nothing. The other team scores seven to six. Okay, you'll never hear this probably out of my mouth again. No personal fouls. No unsportsmanlike conducts. No coaches yelling. No players yelling. No parents cursing. Oh my goodness. I went over to the league reps like with a minute to go because you try to run out after a game. Mm -hmm. And I said, I know that we always write in our report when the coaches and the league reps are like pain in the butts. 
and we always complain about you guys. So I want you to know that my report is going to actually state like, this, this was our- a pleasure to officiate and no kidding. I mean, and then the, the one team from Hollywood, their president is also on the executive board. So that's who the report goes to. I said, if every youth game was like this, we would never have a problem getting officials. This ever. I mean, it was better than most high school varsity games. I mean, per- well, di- and why? Because everything, what do they say? Poop rolls downhill. Everything comes from the top. So the yeah. league reps are awesome in both leagues. And that made the coaches awesome in both leagues. And when because the coaches behave themselves, the kids behave themselves. And they determine the game on the field. And it was sad that they it was a seventeen a thirteen to six game, but still. Did you feel terrible to your rookie? Like you would have enjoyed this game so much. No, I mean she was up on the field. I mean, again, you that's that's why I get paid a whole twenty dollars extra to work for every four games because you have to make that hard decision and yeah. you need your best crew on the field for a game like that. But it was just good. It was just such a pleasure. So I was so happy. To not have to give a bad report. Do you hear the cat in the litter box? Always, right? Always. Always. I'm hungry. I mean, so I'm hungry. We ate it like what two o'clock with the steaks. It was delicious, and they were delicious. So this is three meals today. So we're having three meals. So we're having ribs, which I forgot about, but they look really good. They were very good. They've almost turned into like meat candy. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're very. They got a nice bark on the outside. But really chewy and moist on the inside. We were supposed to do that. Sorry, I had to stop because like the ribs got caught in my teeth and it looked really bad. Right in your teeth. So yeah, unfortunately, we had such a busy day as the cat walks right in front of the camera. Right in front of it. Uh, we had such a busy day of getting Anthony's phone and then getting Caleb's phone and picking up this awesome table here. I'm super excited about that. Um, I didn't finish editing the vlog from yesterday. So good too. So yeah, we're going to release yesterday's vlog in the morning. So if you haven't seen that yet, I'll put a link for it right here. So that'll get released in the morning. And then this one will just get released at the normal evening time. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what we're eating tomorrow yet. I have not defrosted anything. I'm thinking like tomorrow, simple ground beef and eggs. I love that. We have that. not done ground beef yet. I'm ready for ground beef. Yeah, so let's see. We're going to do ground beef and eggs tomorrow. But let us know down in the comment section, what did you eat today? That's what I want to know, right? Mm-hmm. What, what did you guys eat today and how are you doing on the beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge? The other thing I want to know is are you sticking to the challenge and not getting on the scale or have you gotten on the scale? That's the hardest part of the challenge, I think. Yeah, so we decided tomorrow morning when we get up, we're going to take pictures. Yeah. We're not going to show them to you. But we're going to take pictures to see for ourselves. How do we look week one? How do we look week two? And then at the end of the whole thing, you guys will be able to see the progress. And you'll be able to tell us, did you see a difference week to week? Because since we're not using the scale, the only way you're going to know is with measurements and pictures. So I'm curious because we've seen that with like a lot of comments. People are like, I didn't lose any weight and yet my clothes are looser. And that's why the scale is the devil. And the mirror is a liar. So that's going to be the end of today's video. And if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.